Hi, hey, hello, this is Josiah here with the uh, Cycling Cigars channel, and this is my first ever cigar. I uh, stopped by my local tobacconist, and I picked up three cigars and a lighter and a cutter, um, and I'm gonna dive into it. So, um, I did the Oliva, the Connecticut Reserve. Um, wanted to stay on the mild side because I've never smoked a cigar before, so. Here we go, we're gonna take it out of the cellophane right now, if I can figure it out. Robust, this is the Robusto size, by the way, uh, the five by 50, and uh, it's much smaller than I imagined it would be. I mean, even with the dimensions, I mean, I knew kind of what it would feel like, but uh, it feels smaller than I thought it would, you know, yeah. so. You know, I don't know if any of you guys smoked one of these, but, um, there it is. It's obviously a light Connecticut wrapper. It's supposed to be on the mild side. There's the pack. Yeah, my first cigar, so I um, have my cutter here. I'm going to cheat and try to use it. I'm going to do it on the table um, to keep from screwing this cigar up. And I might still actually mess it up. So let's see. Here we go. Nice. Okay. So there we go. I don't know. If how well you can see that, but there we go. That wasn't too bad. I guess that's a tobacco flavor on the cold draw, but yeah, there we go. So, get a lighter. Just a little $15, you know, butane thing. So, we're going to try to light this up without burning the building down or harming myself. So, here we go. I'm going to let it kiss the flame. Kind of charred and bitter. I don't know if that's me. That's probably me. Yeah, maybe I messed this up. Definitely some new flavors. Um, yeah, we're starting to burn. I don't know how well you guys can see that. But um, yeah, it seems to be burning pretty evenly once I got it all up and going. Um, tasting. Yeah, it tastes very. Um, Kind of fiery, smoky, um, lots of spice. Um, it smells good to me. Um, getting kind of a burn on the back of the throat. I mean, nothing serious. Um, and I might actually be inhaling some, unfortunately. You know, I'm sure I'll get better at that, but you can feel it on the tongue. Um, it's different than what I thought it would be, you know. Um, it's a little more, I guess, coarse. I can feel it in the back of my throat. Um, I like it though. I like it. I, uh, I'm glad I went with something more mild. Um, I feel like a medium body or an especially a full body would have uh, overpowered me. So I think we did well there. Don't know if you could tell there, but I just tried a retro hail and it was um, pretty pretty spicy um, yeah getting lots of pepper as far as the amount of smoke there is less smoke than I thought there would be um, and I know that varies from cigar to cigar but um, for this one at least there's less than I thought there would be we're probably about an inch in now. Um, no change to my tastes. Um, I have discovered that uh, the retro hail gives you a ton of flavor, right? But um, I cannot retro hail, you know, two, three times in a row. It's just very, 
very strong. You know, um, the aroma and the smell of cigars is a big part of the cigar smoking experience. Um, and so um, I heard one guy say, I taste cigars with my nose. And um, I can definitely see that. You get much more concentration of uh, flavor through the retro hail. I spoke to the smoke output earlier. Um, it has definitely come up there. It's definitely uh, moving along quite nicely. You know, um, even just sitting there is putting off more. I don't know how much of that you'll be able to get. But um, smoke output has definitely improved. Um, as far as flavors, it still feels the same to me. Um, I have water to. Uh, Kind of cleanse the palate, I guess, and to keep the pepper down. But uh, I do not have any dynamic changes, you know. Not to say they're not there, it's just I'm not picking them up very well, so. Great smoke output. It's uh, definitely come around more. Doing well. So, um, about 20, 30 seconds ago, the ash just fell off. Um, you can see where we are in relation. Ash was probably an inch, a solid inch and a half, you know. Um, as far as the burn, good, you know. I mean, it's not straight across razor sharp, but I mean, everything looks well. There are no touch-ups. I was really worried about construction. I didn't want to have to babysit my first cigar. I told the tobacconist that. You know, he recommended this at, um, you know, great company. And I, I'd seen them around a little bit, so um, I feel good. I feel good about choosing my first one, so. So we're at around the 25 minute mark, give and take. Um, Ash has had another, I don't know, probably eighth of an inch um, to, uh, since the last time we tapped it off. Um, I'm just going to try to remove the band now. It's pretty, uh, pretty warm and pretty movable. So I'm going to try to do this. So yeah, there's my first cigar band. Sorry to be um, so sentimental, I guess, but uh, uh, I really wanted to uh, kind of document my journey into cigar, see if this is even something I want to pursue. Um, and I think so at the moment, you know what I mean? Um, it's enjoyable, it's different, it's not, you know, the flavors, you know what I mean? I understand it's not a flavored cigar, but it's not, you know, when they talk about leather and cocoa, it's not prominent and in the face. And I don't even know if this cigar is supposed to taste like that. I uh, purposely did not look at any reviews so I could kind of give my own uh, taste of it without trying to, you know what I mean, trying to put flavors there that aren't there. But um. Uh, closing in on 40 minutes, um, still burning along, ash is holding on very well. Um, if you have never smoked or you're just starting smoking, um, kind of a word, do not inhale towards the end of the cigar. I just did. It's not pleasant at all. Coughed a little bit. Um, yeah, it was an accident, but yeah, just try to avoid it, you know. Of course, cigars aren't supposed to be inhaled, but you know, things happen. Just be wary of it. When I actually, when I inhale, I mean, when I take a draw, um, about halfway through, I kind of blow out with my nose to make sure that I am just sucking on it like I'm sucking on a straw and not inhaling. Um, and I've, I've gotten better at it, you know, done pretty well. The last one was just an accident. Um, but yeah, 40 minutes, there we are. So yeah, smoke is getting hot, um, and the uh, pack is getting pretty, um, pretty mushy. So uh, I think we're gonna end it here, you know. Um, <clears throat> so this was my first cigar. Yeah, the Olivia, no, Oliva, Connecticut Reserve, a uh, a mild cigar. I'm very glad I didn't go into medium or especially full. I'm glad I did this first step. I feel like I would have been overpowered. 
um, with others. So maybe work my way into those. Maybe get some more complex flavors. Um, took me uh, around 45 minutes, a little more, to uh, smoke this. Uh, it's supposed to be a 30 minute smoke. But you know, that's fine. It's experiences. It's what it's about. So yeah, um, <clears throat> it's my first cigar. So if you're kind of on the edge, I would encourage you to do it. Um, it's an awesome experience. Even if you only do it once to figure out you don't like it. Um, <clears throat> it's still cool just to do. You know what I mean? Why not try it? Um, but yeah, so I will definitely be continuing on. And I encourage you to uh, like this video, comment on this video. You know, what did you, what was your first smoke? And what did you think about it? Have you smoked this? This uh, Leva Connecticut Reserve? What did you think about it? Um, let me know down in the comments below. Make sure you subscribe. Cycling Cigarist uh, is uh, up and running. We will uh, be trying to get some more videos out, you know, as a smoke. I have two other cigars uh, that I bought today, so uh, be on the lookout for those. Um, yeah, it's my first cigar. I appreciate you joining me for this experience. Thank you.